I'm aware that in jog-on videos, a lot of what you see is racing, and that's marvellous. But when you witness a 5k run in over 22 minutes in one video, and then during future attempts, chunks of time are getting removed until we're hovering in the high 18 minutes, one may consider that the how this was done to be shrouded in a smattering of mystery. There is good reason for this, and that is that jog-on was never intended to produce instructional videos with purposeful training tips, but rather to bring you stories from the running and adventure world. And if you pick up something along the way, buy a jog on top to support us, gain some new knowledge for your own journey, or just feel inspired to get out the door as a byproduct of following jog on, then we can ask no more. But on this occasion, I wanted to give you a rare chance to look behind the curtain, to show you what a typical week looks like for me at the time of recording. A one week snapshot of training to finally run a 10K in sub 40 minutes for the first time in years. Each day revealed from Monday to Sunday. A side note here before I show you the week, I am not suggesting that you follow this plan, what works for me may not work for you, and you might be surprised at the lack of mileage in this. I'm only running on 4-5 to five out of the 7 days, it's a lot less than many runners who are often hitting 6 days and much, much bigger mileage. When I move up in distance, this will almost certainly increase. I swap out some mileage for activities that I feel complement my running training, and have never really been a fan of just running and nothing else. I'd like to make it through each decade as a strong and versatile runner who can perform healthily. And whether my approach works, I'll leave it open for debate. But I can tell you at the moment, the 10k time is improving. Let's begin with Monday. Monday is one of the two days that features alternative cardio and strength training. Monday at the moment finds me driving to an Olympic sized swimming pool, but the weather is so terrible that I'm thinking maybe I should have just swum in the street. I come to the pool to yes, sometimes swim, but more commonly to aqua jog, as it replicates the movement of running. I'll put a link below to more information or a jog on video if we ever create one if you're interested to learn more. The strength and conditioning comes in the form of kettlebelling. I'll go a bit more in depth on this in a moment when it reappears later in the weekly schedule. Tuesday is at the track. This is usually the most intense session of the week as the nature of running repetitions of shorter distances allows really pushing the session to be run faster than race pace. We filmed this solo, but usually I am with a group at a local club, which is by far the most enjoyable way to partake in track sessions. Many good running clubs offer a weekly track session and call me a masochist, but to be quite honest, it's my favorite activity of the week. Wednesday currently involves our youth running club, Jog On Juniors, where inevitably I'll join in for some of the session. This is followed by a steady pace run of around eight kilometers or five miles. It's a nice chance to throw in some alternative terrain, something a bit softer underfoot, and the easier pace recognizes the recovery needed following the intensive track session that came the day before. Thursday is the second of the two weekdays that includes alternative cardio and strength training. I'll often get on the bike here and ride for around 20 to 30 minutes, which is then followed by the strength work. After many years in the gym, it was becoming a student of kettlebell training that brought me out of it. I hope Jog On will feature more kettlebelling in the future, but for now, if you're interested, I would highly recommend buying one and learning how to use it by researching more about the fundamental movements. I would suggest checking out the YouTube channel of Mark Wildman, who has some excellent videos for those wanting to learn more. Friday usually alternates between a steady pace run of around 8 to 10k or a hill session. On this week of filming, it was the former, and it also happened that marathon runner and Olympian Steph Twell joined on the bike for this. I can promise you this isn't typical of my training week and genuinely wasn't planned. Jog On is just throwing up some interesting contacts in the running world. This particular run was a mixture of terrain and rather warm. Saturday is quite simply a rest day. This is partly due to me working on Saturdays, a part-time job to keep the funds coming in so I can support myself whilst working on Jog On. Of course, the exception to this is on the odd occasion when I find myself on the start line of a park run. Sunday is the classic long run day. My own father has been a proponent of this for as long as I can remember, and his 1.15 half marathon suggests he was onto something. I will do this at a steady pace, something comfortable where one can still hold a conversation and not be out of breath. Ideally hitting 10 miles if we're looking at distance, or anything over 1 hour 10 minutes if we're approaching it from the perspective of time. For this week's Sunday run, I found myself on some pleasant trails in the Lake District National Park in the north of England. Again, not typical. I will mention here that if you are interested to see more of the behind the scenes of Jog On and the training, we tend to post the majority of it on Instagram and Facebook, so feel free to go check it out there. Let me know what your training week currently looks like. I'm Harry Morgan, and this is Jog On.